Hello everyone, welcome to the channel profile plus this is Padma. Today I am going to discuss to all of you about toilet vocabularies. It might look little silly, actually it is not. Basically friends, when we go to different places, there are people who just mention this toilet using different kinds of vocabularies these days. Especially when we go to airport, it's mentioned in a different way. When we go to other countries, they call this toilets as different in a completely with the different words. So that time we must not be really confused or embarrassed. Okay, so today in this video, let me just tell you the most common words which are used in few countries or few different places to mention these toilets. Let's begin. My very first word today is the flush toilets. See what are called the flush toilets. Here we normally use a word called western toilets, isn't it? We mention it as a western toilet because it came from a western culture that they have a seat to go for the toilets, isn't it? To poop, we just sit like a chair. So we use it like a chair in order to poop. So that is when we call this name as western toilets toilets but actually it has got a name so the toilets are named as flush toilets you just go poop and then you flush it so that's when we found the name flush toilets so stop saying the name western toilets and there is another name for it called the flush toilets so what is called the squat toilets i i hope you can guess it squat what is the squat position see this is commonly named as an indian toilets see indian toilets have become more uh, familiar these days among other countries but they don't just call it as an indian toilets there they call it as a squat toilets and it is really good for your health that you use a squat toilet at your home because the people started getting a lot of uh, knee pain and a lot of you know uh, problems uh, when they cross the age of 30 calcium deficiencies we are not really confident to use the squat toilets nowadays we are very you know uh, we are very easily accessing this flush toilets but actually the most uh, people who has a better knowledge who doctor families mainly they use this squat toilets they are just again going back to the old culture so those toilets are called squat toilets nothing but the Indian toilets so the third name is lavatory see lavatory is another name for toilet see mostly we can see this word lavatory in the airports or uh, the people who have traveled to different countries you may know where all they use the name lavatory okay lavatory is nothing but your washrooms your toilets okay and there is another slang word here loo okay i i've just gone on gone to a loo means it is a slang word so it is also used to mention the toilet rooms these days there are some schools which are like uh, nowadays there are a lot of international schools if you see they have mentioned only the word loo these days they don't have that old fashioned names of you know old fashioned uh, type of mentioning girls toilet or the boys toilet it's just mentioned as the loo loo means it's a slang word but it is also used to mention the toilet rooms and now the last word is kazi see kazi and uh, latrines means see these two words are used mostly among the military people See, when in the military campus, they just build these toilets uh, in block in numbers. Like for example, many in numbers. There will be a block where you have this kazis. Kazis means you have n number of toilets which are built for the military training people. And they also have another name for this called latrines. Okay, so latrines and kazi are nothing but the toilet rooms for the military people. So don't get confused when you just meet somebody from the servers, from the army force, when they just talk about something called Kazi and latrines. They are talking nothing but they are just discussing about their washrooms. They are talking about their toilets. Okay. So now here, 
throne room see throne room it's again a royal way of saying the same toilet rooms washrooms are called as a throne room when you built it like you know uh, very sophisticated if you see uh, example just go to a vvvip's house so you don't call it a to toilet they don't mention their uh, washrooms as just like that a washroom or a lavatory or a loo they have that royal name called throne room okay so this is a royal way of mentioning the toilets throne room here uh, these are the very common words friends see i don't think i have to explain you this mostly we call it as the restroom or the washroom or the bathrooms may i use your washroom so can i know where is the bathroom or can i know where is the restroom so all three things mentions about your toilet rooms just go for the bath you just go there shower you go for your toilet anything you can use this three common words which are mostly used in india okay but to mention the toilets now they all are changed they mention the toilet rooms as lavatory or loo and kasi and latrines you'll not find it anywhere other than the military campus okay so please make sure you are aware of all these words fine so there is something which is at the last as the last word i selected for you is the crapo see crapper we uh, normally use it uh, in british people use this word crapper you know why have they mentioned the toilets as crappers because thomas crapper was the person who invented the flush toilets okay so this is a name of the person who has just invented this kind of a technique okay for the people who had a knee pain who had some who are handicapped disabled for those people he has found something called the flush toilets where they have a proper seat guy okay? fine so that person is called thomas crapper so people you can see people saying that i just going to use a crapper okay i'm going to use the crapper so this is again crapper means it's nothing but the toilet rooms it's nothing but the washrooms so now you know how they found the word crapper it came from the person's name thomas crapper who found the flush toilets you understand this friends so these are the most common words you just come across day to day life and it is really important that you should know all these common english words so always remember soon you start using these words you will remember it for your lifetime that's what i always say whenever i teach you any vocabularies okay enrich empower and emerge with english if you like this video please press the like button that motivates me to do a lot more vocabulary videos like this thank you